big blue button. B B B. Big blue button lets students meet their teacher and other students online. You participate by listening, typing, reading, and speaking. You can also use a webcam to show your face. First, I'll open a big blue button activity. A greeting screen appears. If the session has not yet started, you'll see a message like this. If the conference has started, you will see a Join Session button. I'll click on it. Be patient while the program loads. If a flash player pop-up appears, click Allow. An audio pop-up window appears. Click on Microphone. On this screen, you're being asked to speak a few words to see how your microphone is working. Click on Yes. Depending on the computer or tablet you are using, other pop-up windows may appear. Your computer will ask more questions. They may look different or be in a different order, but they are asking if it's okay to use your computer. I'll click Allow. Big blue button, online room. Your room may look like this. There may be live pictures of your teacher and other students if they have their webcams turned on. Your teacher may have your EduLink course open or choose to show you a piece of paper or anything that he or she wants you to see. Big blue button, controls. On the screen here, you can see several icons. There's an icon to mute or unmute your microphone. There's one to disable the audio if asked to by your teacher. And there's a button to start or stop your webcam. Icons can be turned on or off. If the icons have blue colors, that means they're on. When you move your mouse over an icon, it will tell you what clicking on it will do. As in this example, where it says, leave audio. I can see here that the webcam button is not blue. That means it's off. If I click on it, I can then click on the Start Sharing button if the teacher wants me to share my webcam. Big Blue Button Communications Panel During a Big Blue Button session, you will see a communications panel here. There are three parts to this communications panel. Messages, Notes, and Users. The public chat area is a place to go to type messages to everyone in the room. The notes area is the place for you and your classmates to type notes that you want to share with each other about what the teacher is saying. Finally, in the users area, you will see a list of people who are currently in the session. More about messages. Here is an example of how the public chat area works. You type your chat text here. You click here to send. In this example, Beverly Davis typed, Hello, class. Eduardo replied, Hello, Miss Beverly. Then Beverly typed, How are you doing, Eduardo? Are you self-isolating? And so the chat would continue. More about notes. Let's now look at the shared notes area. I'll click to go there now. You type your notes here. Remember, others in the room can see and add notes in the shared notes area. When you're finished, click on the double direction arrows in the formatting options. I'll click on plain text. And this will send a copy of the shared notes to my computer. More about users. I've magnified the users area so we can see better. Each person has an icon with the first two letters of their name. There is a smaller icon that shows if their microphone is turned on 
or if it is muted. A screen icon at the top of a person's initials means that person is the teacher. When a person clicks on their own name, they can click on Set Status to show movement or emotion in the room. There are choices here to raise your hand or show that you are happy or sad, for example. Clicking on Raise Your Hand tells participants you want to ask a question. This is what your username will now look like. Instead of the initials BE, the first two letters of Beverly's name, we now see an icon of a hand showing that Beverly wants to ask a question. I've magnified it so that we can see it better.